Carley, a research asset manager, will complete a data assessment effort to identify and consolidate highly valued strategic intellectual property owned by the organization. To complete this work, she will use visual analysis of the data sets along with filters to help understand the data in order to take the most appropriate actions to secure and manage this information. Carly reviews the all data overview information. This could be all data or a subset of data across multiple sources, including social communication sources. The data map presenting gives her a feel for the amount of data that falls into each category based on the relative size of the boxes presented. Securing research and development information will be key to business success and industry leading products and solutions. Carly begins her analysis by creating a filter to review storage volumes owned by the Research and Development Group. Knowing that this info set will be worked with regularly in the future, Carly creates a new Research and Development Information info set. Noting the reduced content, Carly reviews the resulting information and notes a broad spectrum of email, word processing documents, and spreadsheets. She begins further analysis as she works to establish a repository of IP-specific materials. To streamline the flow of information to her architects and designers, she filters the current info set using key patent IP identifiers to identify the highest value information for this area of the business. As this information contains the materials she will act upon to make available to her team, Carly creates a new info set for patent and disclosure materials. Carly does a quick review of the new info set. She sees that the majority of the information, as predicted, is contained in word processing documents. At any point in time, Carly can review via an audit trail of filters the path she has taken to identify, manage, and secure the information identified. Having identified and created the patent and disclosure IP info set, Carly takes action in moving this content to Box, where it can be easily secured while still being available to her research and development teams. She validates that the information identified and the move to Box have been processed and completed with no exceptions prior to moving to the next area of focus. To document her activities, Carly creates a data assessment report detailing this content and her actions, which she will retain. Today we have seen how a research asset manager was able to understand, analyze, and manage highly valued strategic intellectual property in order to secure value from legacy data. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.